The CPAC CPRO is an automated, functionally closed system used for the washing, isolation, and dilution of cellular products. The system is composed of a combination of hardware, protocol software, and dedicated kit. The system is a multifunctional platform with flexibility to support multiple applications with optimized protocol software and disposables. Today, I'm going to teach you how to launch a procedure on the CPAC CPRO, preparing and installing one of the dedicated kits. To start preparing the system for your process, first switch on the device and load the protocol software that corresponds to your need using the command on the touch screen. Today, we'll run the neat cell protocol used to perform a density gradient based separation. On the main screen, you can select the parameters adapted to your process, including initial and final volumes, the number of wash cycles you want to have, and other parameters. Once you've selected the parameters, come back to the main screen. The system automatically performs specific controls to ensure the parameters selected are coherent and then prompts you to continue. From the main screen, you can also configure the list of traceability information that allows you to capture lots and unit ID once the procedure is started. Now the system is ready to start the procedure. Follow me to see how to prepare the kit and connect the initial product to be processed. To begin, verify the kit model and information on the label. Ensure that the sterility indicator is green and the blister is not damaged. Open the blister and spread out the kit to identify the various components. A similar structure is applied to all different model of kits. The separation chamber, the stopcock manifold in the 3T position, the initial line, the final line, the washing solution line, and the waste bag initially filled with FICOL. Before connecting bags, products, and solutions, close all clamps except the red one located on the pressure sensor line. Products and solutions can be connected using the spike ports available with aseptic techniques in the biosafety cabinet or via sterile connecting device and filtered ports outside of the BSC. 100 mils of FICOL must be transferred into the waste bag. For your convenience, you can use the available filter. Once the preparation is completed, the kit can be installed on the instrument, starting from the center and moving towards the extremities. First, place the separation chamber inside the chamber pit. Connect the stopcock and use the lever to fully engage. Place the tube in the optical sensor. Screw the connect filter into the pressure sensor. Close the covers and tighten the cover lock. Hang the initial product and drip chamber to the left of the instrument as shown. Place the final or intermediate bag to the left of the instrument. Hang the washing solution from the pole. Hang the FICOL bag on the right side from the back hook. And finally, verify the overall status, ensuring there are no kinks or twists visible. Once the kit installation is completed, select Start to begin the procedure. The traceability feature will track the input product as it goes through the instrument. Press Done to move forward and start the kit test. The instrument performs a control of the kit installation, in particular focusing on the central parts, the chamber, pressure sensor, an optical sensor, as well as the stopcock. Once the kit test is completed, the protocol tells you what steps to do next. First, prime the bubble chamber 
by gently squeezing it two to three times until it is half filled with the initial product. Once completed, replace the chamber on the support and validate on the screen. Then, open the white clamps. To start priming, take the bag with initial product in your left hand so as to control its height. In parallel, place your right thumb on the screen over the start priming button. Do not move your right thumb so as to ensure that you are able to stop the product flow at any moment. The height of the bag controls the speed of the flow. After pressing start, you will observe the product flowing from the initial bag through the tubing. You'll want it to stop between the blue and white stopcock. Once the priming is finished, press the stop button. Now, the protocol is loaded, the kit is installed, and the system is ready to run your process.